Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, this is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 7th of February. Uh, cold week ahead, unsettled week ahead, maybe some snow for the state Wednesday night. Who gets what? That's what everybody wants to know, and let's see what we know now. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network. Now, today we've had some light rain, even some uh, showers with small hail because the air loft is so cold. Now, that's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking uh, back to the northwest from the top of the Daniel Building. Some, the rain has ended there for the most part. We'll go to Gadsden. Again, we've got an overcast sky. We saw a few peaks of sun uh, late this morning, but don't look for much for the rest of today. And from Tuscaloosa. Again, that's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge as seen from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Pretty impressive shortwave trough rotating through here this afternoon, energy forcing this band of rain showers, which is mainly on the eastern side of the state now. It's raining in places like uh, uh, Weiss Lake and Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, down toward Ashland and Lineville and Alexander City. And that rain is on the way out. There might be a few snow flurries this evening or later tonight, but uh, nothing really significant. And uh, the big story in the short term is that the colder air is flooding in behind that band of showers. Look at the numbers back up in northwest Alabama. Upper 30s up there. Haleyville 37 and Muscle Shoals at 39. And it's going to be pretty cold. We should be in the uh, mid-20s by daybreak tomorrow. And again, we'll hang on to some chance of snow flurries. But quite frankly, looking at that, obviously the uh, chances aren't good. That's the uh, radar composite across the deep south. Pretty good snow is falling now uh, north and west of Nashville back up into Kentucky. And uh, that's going to stay up north. And again, around here, there could be some snow flurries tonight, but uh, no big deal. I think we hit the mid-20s early tomorrow morning because look at the cold air coming in behind it. That's some pretty cold stuff. <clears throat> up in the core of that thing, it's uh, about 10 degrees below zero over parts of the uh, Dakotas. And uh, again, uh, more than likely, we start the day tomorrow in the mid-20s. And of course, with cold air in place, the next shortwave, that brings the mind of who gets the snow well, already. On the watch warning map, we have winter storm watches and warnings in effect. Now, first off, for Tennessee and Kentucky, that's for the stuff that's going on right now. Uh, winter storm warnings in effect, areas north of Memphis and west of Nashville, up into western Kentucky. They might pick up uh, three, four inches of snow there, but that one will not bother us. Again, maybe a few flurries this evening, and that's it. The next one is the one to watch, and already there's a winter storm warning in effect for much of central and western Oklahoma. And surrounding that, winter storm watches cover much of the uh, Texas Panhandle, uh, north-central Texas, down to Dallas-Fort Worth, and over much of Arkansas. And again, we'll be keeping a close eye on that as it moves our way. This is the uh, Day 2 snow outlook. This is for tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, the better snow there along really Interstate 40 and points north. And then on Day 3, which is Wednesday, the better snow could be right smack dab over eastern Oklahoma and Arkansas, where they certainly don't need it. And again, these graphics are the possibility of at least four inches of snow. And uh, again, uh, I don't think we see that much here. There could be in spots, but generally speaking, we think the amounts will be lighter. And there's the overall precipitation for the next five days. The QPF chart, this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one half to three quarters inch. And that would count the rain we had today and whatever comes Wednesday night into Thursday morning. All right, do we dare look at modeling? Oh, let's go ahead. Uh, this is the RPM surface chart, uh, valid this evening at 8 o'clock. And if this is right, there could be some snow flurries, really down to Birmingham and Anniston. Uh, nothing to get excited about. We'll go to uh, tomorrow. This is the GFS look. This is at 500 millibars. There's the next piece of energy coming around through the southwest. And down below that, the weather tomorrow will be dry and rather chilly. Highs in the low and mid-40s with a partly sunny sky. Overall, nice, quiet day. We'll go to Wednesday. Now, the GFS, as you know, for many runs, has just given up on this thing. It, it dampens it out, but the other models have not. Let's stick with the RPM. This is noon on Wednesday. Good snow event going on. If This is right over the uh, northern, really the northern three-quarters of Arkansas, most all of the state, with some icing down into uh, Shreveport and Minden and Monroe. We're still dry. All right, 6 o'clock Wednesday evening. That's suggesting some light snow moving into uh, northwest Alabama in the Tennessee Valley. This is midnight Wednesday night. And again, the RPM is suggesting that at that point, it should be snowing over much of the northern third of the state. 
Interstate 20 is a pretty good boundary between rain and snow. There might be a little icing involved in the middle there, but we think it's going to be a pretty sharp cutoff between rain and snow. And then Thursday morning at 6 o'clock, uh, we've still got some light snow, but it's starting to wind down with rain down to the south. And again, this is suggesting there might be a few snowflakes as far south as Livingston, Clanton, and Roanoke. Don't think we'll see much, if any, accumulation down there. We'll check the European. This is valid at uh, 6 o'clock uh, Thursday morning. And uh, again, it's got the deeper moisture down to the south, the lighter moisture up in the cold air, so maybe an inch or two. And the Canadian... Very similar, maybe a, a smidgen slower. Again, this is Thursday morning at 6 o'clock. In colder, it's got the uh, critical thickness line almost down to Montgomery. But the Canadian has not done well this season, just to give you a heads up on that. We'll look at the uh, output, the snow accumulation output coming from the RPM. This is the 15Z run. And I think this is pretty good. It's got the bigger snows, and that's some 6 to 8 inch totals over southern Arkansas. Uh, between El Dorado and Little Rock. In Alabama, it's got a few spots of 2 to 4 inches over the Tennessee Valley, up around the Tennessee River, with amounts of about 1 to 2 inches down here. And again, maybe a dusting as far south as Livingston and Clanton and Roanoke. We'll check the uh, NAM. It's been very aggressive with this event, uh, but a very sharp cutoff. You can see nothing in terms of accumulated snow. Uh, south of a line from Tuscaloosa to Ashland to Wadawi. And the better snows north of Interstate 20. And yes, we see that this has got some three and four inch amounts over northeast Alabama, specifically DeKalb and Cherokee counties. Could it happen? Absolutely. But again, out of some respect to the GFS and the weaker solution, this is what we're going to do with it right now. This is the uh, first look at the accumulated snow graphic. And I don't think this surprises anybody if you watch the updates on the web. Uh, for now, we're just going to go with the heavier totals near the Tennessee border. The uh, two to four inch amounts uh, over that far northern part of the state may be getting down into uh, DeKalb County in the mountains there, look out in Sand Mountain. And one to two inches generally north of a line from Reform to Birmingham to Oxford. And you, you know all season long we have had issues with that bottom red line because it sits right over major population centers. Uh, Birmingham and Anniston in this case. It might be 30 miles to the north, might be 30 miles to the south. We're, we're, I'm just telling you now, there, there's not enough skill to really get it any more accurate than that, but that's where you think it ought to be right now. So again, it could be a case where you get two inches of snow in Gardendale and just a trace in Hoover. And we've had a lot of that this season. And then down the line, Tuscaloosa, Clanton, Sylacauga, Roanoke, you might see a few snowflakes. There might be a dusting, but that far south, the odds of accumulation look small. But understand, one to two inches of snow can create some driving issues, and Thursday morning could be somewhat of a challenge. So we'll watch it carefully and adjust that map as we need to. This is midday Thursday, and again, the GFS all along has just got nothing. Uh, and it is an outlier, and we're, we're discounting it and not using it for this forecast package. But whatever, Thursday is going to be a, a sharply colder day. Uh, we'll start the day in the uh, mid-20s, and I don't think we get out of the 30s considering the snowpack that should be north of us. And uh, there's Friday. Friday should be the coldest morning. And again, the, the models are trending warmer. Uh, I would say lows between 18 and 22, depending on where the snow cover happens to be Friday morning. Where there's snow cover, you could be below 18. But I think most spots, upper teens are low 20s. And then Friday, we start to warm up. We'll be pushing 50 by afternoon. Saturday starting off the weekend, a good chance we see low 50s. And Sunday, hey, we could be up there flirting with 60. Won't that feel good? So as we've talked about, the cold air coming in will not last really long. And there's a week from today, Vort Maxwell to the north, maybe a little light rain northwest of here, but certainly nothing major. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 23rd. Now, still pretty active pattern, uh, but it's uh, clearly it's zonal. We don't have the big western ridge tapping Arctic air. And down below that, maybe some evidence of... Uh, issues on the northern flank of that precipitation with a 1,040 millibar high not too far from Denver. But again, we sure believe that the second half of February will be milder than the first half. And I think that's good news for most folks around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. 
sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.